let's start this video off with a shot of the Freedom Tower that was on my way to the museum on the Sim 1C, which was a two hour bus ride. And there's Natalie, the Kidron Penguin, I shit you not. Now we're here in the museum. This is right before Jordan got in. This is the Gorilla exhibit. I started out in Africa. That was our first stop. And then I got a, a nice shot of the Eight Gorilla Parade. That was nice. And of course I get the front of it with the charging right at me, the trampling over me. Now here's a left shot of it. I should have went a little further because the tusk of the left elephant sticking out a little bit. There's a selfie of me in the front. That, again, that was before Jordan got in because now you got to do it online. Reserve. There's me with the gorillas. And now here's a dark, for some reason, shot of the parade. I don't know why. Hey everyone, it's Bebopper. I mean, Super Bell with Jordan. Hello. We were at the Natural History Museum, which was a hassle to get here. Yes, and they changed a lot of their protocols, much to our chagrin. <laughs> hey, I'm an English guy. Who can I say? Yeah, this is the best part, the African elephants. Actual size. Please do not touch. Please do not touch. <laughs> I wonder, I'm sure these little kids, the little kids we're talking about Elvira Mistress of the Dark. Excellent character. Cassandra Peterson should be 70. Be, yeah. Should be 70. She's the host of I wish they would have done an Elvira series. They could do animated now. They did series. No, they could do an animated though. Oh, animated, yeah. Vampira versus Elvira. Elvira the win. Yeah. yeah. She actually sued the same person. She used a lot of her images. Yeah, but she's more seductive. But I think they settled out of court as long as... She yeah, but she's more, um, she's more seductive. Vampira is more, less revealing. How do you like that? We're talking about a completely random movie in a completely random museum. <laughs> Gorillas! That's me. It's me. They were all donated. And he's got a leaf in his mouth. <laughs> a leaf. There's me again, this time with Jordan, with a selfie with the gorilla, the silverback. Now here's a selfie of me and him getting run over by the elephants, except we're not really struggling to run away. This dinosaur, this stuffed dinosaur was $3,200, I shit you not. I don't know who's gonna buy it. There's some coyotes. That could be Wiley. Coyote. You know? No roadrunner. There's one of my favorite secondary animals, the mountain goat. What I mean by secondary, I define it as like not in the top three, but still a classic. There's some baboons, speaking of. There's an aerial view of the elephant parade from up top. There's some chimpanzees eating something. I should also mention that one of the gorillas earlier had a leaf in its mouth suggesting that he ate it. There's a statue of a gorilla, speaking of. Now here's us in the uh, mastodon slash mammoth portion, the Milstein wing. That's the side of a mastodon. There it is again, or at least an adult side, uh, an adult. There's the mammoth. Oh no, the mammoth's on the next one to the left. There we go. That's the woolly mammoth. That's the big boy. That's the big man. The bull of the group. Yeah, he's awesome. And those tusks took a lifetime to grow to that proportion. Speaking of mammoth proportions, there's the teeth of a megalodon, which is the ancestor of a great white shark. And even older than that, or not as old as the T-Rex. There's me and Jordan again. A selfie and, and then this guy actually took a picture of us standing there, see? You see, you get the whole enchilada, well, minus the tail. I hate these slideshows that they have to move. I like when they zoom back a little bit. I don't like when they, like, scroll, because then you miss part of the picture, part of the frame. There's an owl, which I had a hard time looking for. It was actually in the uh, Theodore Roosevelt wing, which is right not too far from the uh, ocean part, which is actually an overnight experience where you could sleep under the whale in a cot for $150. I mean, I don't think they're doing that right now with COVID. And speaking of COVID, the scariest section, the sharks, the great whites, is actually underneath, Was they were doing COVID vaccine and testing, which is very strange of all places to have vaccines. And they said no flash photography. Well, I didn't 
get them in the shot, the frame. There's a man. There's some Portuguese man of wars attacking the mahi mahi and the sea turtle. There's a Chinese dragon. <clears throat> there's some Asian elephants, which I had a hard time getting. And it's strange how the African exhibit has eight elephants, but the Asian exhibit only has two. That's strange. <clears throat> yeah, I took a few shots. I don't know why. I figured I might screw it up. There's Goose, the pelican, carrying his young and protecting it. Speaking of carrying its young, there's a blackbird, you know, going going to town on his fledgling. And there's another owl. This one was really hard to shot to shoot. It was a great horned owl. It was in the bird section. And pause and read here if you want to read about the great horned owl. Speaking of which, there's another bird. <clears throat> that one's gonna have a hard time getting its young, or maybe it's just feeding it. And there's me chilling, sitting down, plugging my phone in for like three percent, right before the museum closed. And that's Jordan right there, sitting. I figured, eh, there might not be places to plug in. Then we went to Uno's for dinner. The first time in f uh, four years I've been there, because I skipped in 2018. Now here's a creation that, that's not on the menu, a pizza burger that they managed to fulfill. And boy, was it delicious.